Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So today I have a jewelry video for you guys and um, it is basically showcasing my most worn jewelry, my favorite jewelry and how I keep them clean, which is huge. Um, it makes such a difference to you wanting to wear them on a daily basis, enjoying them, and just obviously if you've invested in these jewelry pieces, you want to take care of them. So um, I will have links about that too. So I've kind of put this on uh, all my favorite jewels on a little vintage tray that I found at a thrift store. It's super cute. I don't know if you're really going to be able to... Nope. Uh, maybe I'll show you when it's empty, but it's really, really cute. And I kind of just lay them all flat on here. It just makes things um, a lot easier. I can see everything and um, yeah. Oh, hold on. I have like a imposter jewelry trying to get in. Okay, so um, I'll talk about my watch first because it's what I wear every Day. So I had received this as a graduation present for medical school back in the day and I still love it. It is amazing. It is the Lady Date Just. It is very well loved, very, very dirty. Um, and just to show you how dirty it is, and I hope it will come out, I don't know if you can see, like, I mean, it is dirty. Like, you know, skin, sweat all that lovely stuff is on there and so it's not the brightest it could be and so I have a clip on how I clean this because it has very intricate chains as you can see and um, it just looks brand spanking new when it's done so here you'll be like oh Arisu, that doesn't look too bad it looks really kind of nice and shiny but just wait you will see what it looks like when it's cleaned. Um, cleaned. So I hope you can see here, for example, as soon as you rub it, you can see how like foamy it gets. And I just think the foam kind of expands into the little creases and crevices of the links. So it really helps loosen everything up and you can just really wipe well with um, the wipes. Um, and I kind of just rinse it through with like um, lukish warm water. And um, yeah, you will just, you can just tell even now, like just look at the shine that comes through. And also you can see the dirt that comes off as well and it's super foamy and super wet too so you can like do this like several times over like rinse it and come back and use a different area of this wipe like a lot a lot goes a long way or even move on to another material um so i could use it for my cuff too my cable cuff and like really run um my fingers and nails over the cable but um just to quickly like tell you what I do as well, um, I use the Simple Shine brand and you can get this off Amazon and there's like, there's a whole load of different things you can get but these are the three that really work for me uh, for different circumstances and different jewelry. So um, I do definitely recommend this one the most. It's the Complete Jewelry kit that works this is the um, cleanser brush and cloth and as you can see like based on the color it used to be a beautiful blue and how much there is now um i've lovingly used this so um it comes with a little scrubby brush and comes with its cloth and let me just show you just to show you how much i use this yeah. Yep. <laughs> so um, what you do is you open this up and I think I demonstrate it in the clips anyway, but just like as a brief summary, you have a little tray so you can put your jewelry in it, um, your earrings, your bracelet, your watch, and you immerse this in for a few minutes. 
and then when you bring it out you can kind of scrub it with this little brush and this is what is really really handy for little chain links and um, for little like open areas of your um, jewelry items and really gently like remove them and then you leave them to dry and you can put them on this polishing cloth and obviously um, there's sides for buffing and sides, uh, sides for cleaning and it's just an all-in-one really handy dandy kit to have so that's what I do with the watch and my rings and my earrings and you can do sterling silver you can do diamonds you can do plated um, all sorts um, it's really really good and I think even you can do pearl um, yeah, you can even use it for flatware, coins, and antiques. Um, let's see. Say for silver, gold, platinum, dim diamonds, and gemstones. Okay, let's get back onto my little tray. So then I have these brushed Jadior studs, and they're really, really beautiful. Don't know if this will pick up. There we go. So they're really, really pretty. I love the way they were brushed. They, I, I wear them every day um, as like a little stud and they just kind of climb up your ear very slightly um, and it just gives kind of like an edgy look and I love that it's flat so it's not like in your face. Um, you just pick it up if you read it and yeah, I, I really like them. They're just very simple and um, just very understated really love those obviously i have my rings that i wear on a daily basis and i have four rings that i wear and they all have like special meanings so i'll go through those so i have my cartier love band in rose gold um this is the thin band and i love this one because my mum and my sister we both have these so it's like a little family thing that we have and um, this is really good for the brush too because as you can see it has those um, screw like indentations in there and so um, sometimes things can get in there like creams and lotions and stuff so the little gentle brush like removes that for me um, I have this Anushka crown ring with sapphires this is very pretty my sister bought this to for me a few years ago for helping her prepare for one of her medical licensing exams she did really well and obviously it was nothing to do with her and completely to do with me so she bought um this ring for me which i love oh sorry i'm still getting used to this camera don't know if i there we go Not bad yeah so that's um that's that <laughs> And then I have this David Yerman ring, which um, is just so special. It's like an oval ring. And I thought this price point was amazing. Um, it's, uh, I think it was like 295 or two, 250 or something back in the day. Um, but they're like crushed diamonds and they obviously have the cable knit around it and this is one that the cleaning solution really helps me because i don't know if you'll be able to tell but can you see underneath how it's open and um it's kind of weird that it's open because it's not like light can go through from underneath to make these diamonds shine um i i wonder why they didn't close it off but it's quite deep so again a lot of cream hand sanitizer and all that can really get in there and dull that area which then makes all these diamonds kind of like dull too so I can see here that like a lot is needed and again I will have clips showing you how I clean everything and what a difference it makes and then I have my olive paloma ring by Tiffany & Co I love this ring I just um I don't know uh this has no real like reason why i bought it apart from the fact that i just thought it was really beautiful i really want to get the hoops for it too i think they're just um it's just really stunning and dainty and i i loved it i absolutely loved it they have studs too which are really sweet but i think i want to get some hoops so yeah those are my rings 
Okay, and then I have two gifts from my sweetie and he bought me um, these fleur-de-lis studs by a, an artist called Mignon Faget, um, which is quite famous in Louisiana. Um, and yeah, I mean, these are really pretty. They're very unique because they're not like a typical fleur-de-lis. They're a little bit more edgy. So I thought that was kind of cool. Really, really cute. But again, these have like little like holes. Um, and so you just got to make sure that they're like cleaned properly. Oh, sorry, there we go. So yeah, they're really, really cute. I got these for Christmas. These were my Christmas gifts. And then uh, for Valentine's Day, he got me these um, pearls, which are gorgeous. I love this color. It's like a very pearlescent um, pink. Only so cute. And I love how like globular they are. So they just look really, really sweet on the ears. And I thought that was just such a cute Valentine's Day gift. And again, I think they uh, Mignon Faget comes with a really good price point too for what you get. And they do sales too. And you can definitely shop online. These are just very simple and sweet things to get. It's really, really special. Okay, then I have some gold hoops. And um, these are Huggies. And honestly, I have no idea where I got these from, guys. Um... I just don't know and you know the only place that I can think about where I would have got something like this is Amazon so either Amazon or Etsy that's kind of like the place but they are super small so they just fit and truly hug you and I know Huggies that's what they're supposed to do but when you have small ears like me and my best friend Gemma she always talks about how like my ears are like the tiniest she's ever seen um like they're small but I have I know someone who has just the same size ears as me so I don't feel as bad but um my lobes are super small and you know I pretty much need to wear baby earrings um so Huggies for me were um basically like hoops so yeah um this is what my lobe looks like so i needed really small ones and I, I have no idea how i figured this out but i got these like small huggies and i know they're gold plated so um, they are definitely special ones okay then i have my david yemen cuff and i have the baby version and this is with the citrine gem stone it's beautiful um yeah i just really liked the thinness of the baby one they have smalls medium and larges and adults and the small would fit me just fine but i really liked the baby um and i would love to get another one um i'm not even really sure i wouldn't even care what gemstone it is or if it was a pearl it would look really pretty obviously right now on my hand i have my fitbit not a jewelry but i do have my all um over beaded bracelet by tiffany and um this one is amazing i never take it off um except for cleaning and it's really really nice and um it fit if you have very tiny wrists like me it fits fine like when i first wore it i was really nervous because i was like oh it looks so big probably i just wasn't used to it and i was like can i make this smaller and she was like you don't want this smaller like this looks fine on you and i was like mm. um but as i started wearing it more and more i realized like oh it's fine and then i have like a matching double heart necklace too with the little tiffany um love necklace so those are those and then i have a monica venada kite i think it's a mini kite um necklace with diamonds and i got it in the gold really really dainty beautiful okay i have these that i don't know where i got them from i, I all i remember was like not impressed with the quality but they were expensive but they look cool um they're twisty and fun um but they're like very like empty inside 
um yeah again i can't remember this might have been like an instagram made me do it type of thing they're really nice but just i don't think for the price point i think i might have paid like 48 or 50 dollars for them but i do like them um okay another thing my sweetie got me for my birthday is this tennis necklace with rose gold and it's from Swarovski and a lot of you do ask me about this when I wear it in videos it is really beautiful I just love that it's um, rose gold too just because it matches my um, uh, watch really nicely and it just sparkles and it looks gorgeous um, and it's a really great layering piece like really really stunning and I love that it's a tennis necklace but I make it super casual because I just wear it with everything and anything and um, so it just looks very understated um, but if you were to wear it with like a black cocktail dress you would like make it look so glamorous too so it's stunning then I have um, these by Miranda Fry and I love these these are really fun. This is when I'm like edgy and kind of like, I want to say I'm in a gypsy mode. Um, I don't really know what I mean by that myself, but I think it's just because of the charms. But I have um, this these two beautiful charms that I added onto the chain and they just look so good together. Um, I hope you can see those. They look really good. And these really work well with the wipes that I have, which I'll show you they're really pretty and finally i have this david yerman vintage necklace and this one um i is a work in progress because it's vintage it um was just not polished for years and so it has taken a lot of elbow grease to get it to where it is now but it still has a long way to go and so as gentle and um, yeah, as much as the items from Simple Shine are gentle, they have removed a ton of stuff, which you'll see in the clips, but um, this needs several rounds still. But I love the cable um, chain. It's just very soft and smooth, and obviously their little quatrefoil, um, really, really stunning and chunky and big and yeah it looks again really good layered but as i said i just have a lot of work um to go because it's just so deep the cables are so deep that um you really need to like put a lot of elbow grease in it but it's definitely worth it and when you see what it looked like before um you will know how much like i've worked on this so this is the before, um, and mind my nails, I was eating crawfish, so my polish is like coming off, and my hands are really dry, but you can see here what it looks like. So it's a bit tarnished and dirty, but I'm going to use the solution and show you the after. So as you can see, and you can actually see here the solution. There's my finger there. Like there's some like tarnished bits from before. Like they've all seeped to the bottom. You can see it floating around. So it has this little basket tray. And so you place it in there and then just immerse it in the solution. So that's what I'm going to do now. I just put the lid on loosely. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but it comes with a cleanser and the brush. And a little card here that tells you how to use it. So only supposed to be in there for two minutes. So it has no ammonia or harsh chemicals, so it cleans gold, palladium, platinum, silver, stainless steel, titanium, diamonds, CZ, pearls, beads, porous stones, soft stones, enamel, treated gemstones, and more. And that's just fantastic because I just don't have to think about anything. 
and it cleans so beautifully. And um, they even have their materials made from recycled materials. So they're containers and things to help with reducing waste. So they're really a caring um, and loving um, brand and it truly works. It's, it's fantastic. And so once it's there for two minutes, I'm going to remove it and blot dry it. And then you can use the cloth on top just to really polish it, especially with David Yeoman brands where they're quite intricate and, um, you know, they have like lots of nooks and crannies. So, um, yeah, I really like it. You can already tell it's looking so much better. Now this is a vintage one, so um, it has its um, general marks and stuff like that on there, but cleanliness wise it's going to be good as new. So yeah, those are my jewels and this is the plate. Look how pretty that is. I had like a set of four. It was so pretty. Oh, I have two more things that I have to show you. Hold on. Okay, I have a few more things to show you. So I have this Tiffany box, which you're gonna die when you find this, find out the story. I was in a thrift store and I was like, oh, this looks so nice. It's like sellotaped. And I picked it up and I was like, darn, it's really, really heavy. And I looked at the bottom and it was like Tiffany and Co, made in Germany. Then it said the Ritz Colton Orlando Grand Lakes. I don't know if you can see that. And how much was it? I think $3.99, something crazy. And I was like, who the heck did it? And then I realized why it was $3.99. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's a chunk of crystal or glass out of it. But I just was like, I don't know. It's, it's not sharp, thank God. But I couldn't give it up. I know like it's quite damaged, but I just couldn't give it up. So that's that story. Uh, this is the Mignon Fauge little um, pouch that my earrings came in. Um, I have some Monica Venada in here too that are super special. Um, I was really into like stacking these and I don't know if I just chose the wrong colors or what but I was, I love them for sure but I don't reach for them all the time. Um, I got this green one because when I went to Tulane I thought it was quite fitting um, and then I put like good luck in a Chinese character on here and then here it just says Arizu and it has like a four leaf clover with a star. I'm not even going to try and attempt to show you that but that's that one. Um, me and my best friend when we turned 30 we got um, this multicolored one which is so us. Um, oh no, 33, we turned 33. Um, the reason why I know that is because, thank God for the toggle, it says A and then it says 33. And then we wrote sparkle on it with hearts and stars because that was that is us, we are airy fairies. Um, and then finally I got this nudish taupe band one and I have nothing engraved on this. Um, I'm still waiting and I and these threads do represent something but for the life of me I can't remember um, I have this Swarovski car cuff which I think I just bought on sale once at Swarovski but I just loved look how sparkly that is I just loved the way it reflected and it was like a beautiful cuff and it was just really really elegant so I have that I have um, this necklace by Clyde and this one's really great. It was expensive but worth it because the um, it doesn't tarnish at all. Um, it just needs to be cleaned a little bit um, but um, it's really really sparkly and it's like choker style and it reflects really really well. So I like that. That is by Paulina Bergova here on YouTube. And then I have two more Tiffany stuff. I do, I'm a Tiffany girl. I do love Tiffany's. Um, I have the um, Paloma Open Heart Necklace. This was my maid of honor gift from my best friend for her wedding um, last year. I love it. 
it is so beautiful and they have um studs as well which would be nice to kind of like match one day but i love wearing this i kind of go between these two wearing them all the time and i have this one too which i love which they have matching earrings with i, I love how i'm mentioning the matching earrings because i've never been like matchy matchy but with these tiffany ones i i don't know i just think it's kind of nice to have like a little set um and this one again is one of those things where the simple shine pen really came in handy um so this one says wish and i definitely wanted this one um and this one i got as a gift for graduating from tulane from my sister well my family um and i love this one because that is what arizu means my name it means to desire or to wish for so i love anything that says desire or wish or anything like that um and that is completely me i am such a hopeful wishing person no matter the circumstance so um i really like um, resonated with this um, necklace it was just it's just me so I have those and I kind of like push them I should really keep them in their pouches but I, I go I, I interchange them like every few months um, and so I've just kept them in that little Tiffany crystal box and put like the Mignon Fage little pouch on top of it I mean it doesn't stop the silver from tarnishing but um, it's there on my vanity. I you this one, which is the um, Gentle Cleanser Brush and Basket and Polishing Cloth. Um, this one is so handy. It's the Silver Cleaning Wipes, and it's just what you think. They're like little moistened wipes. They really help with just touching up. I like to use this one when I'm doing a deep clean, when I just need like a, an every two week kind of polish and revamp of my jewels i use the wipes because i can really get in there with my nails and like my hands and it just needs like a once over i really really love these these two are my favorite and then the simple shine stick has actually become quite um, handy too and only if you have like very intricate um pieces so if you have like silver antique that you really need to like get in there this helps um and then, like I said, like I have like the David Yerman, which is open. So I really like push the stick in there and like loosen everything up and kind of like flick it up with the pen. And it just, um, it really, really helps um, buff and shine. And, and they just look so new and it just looks so nice on your hands. Like I like wear them afterwards and I'm like, wow, they were so dull before. Like, how did I not know? So I would definitely check these three out. These are my favorite ones. I think these are um, will be of most use to all of you. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was like very like splotchy with um, the clips, but they definitely do show you what um, the process was like and how they kind of like got rid of all the build up and stuff. So yeah, I um, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.